Australia, a country consistently ranked among the most expensive places to call home. Yet this didn't stop 180,000 people moving here in the last year alone, including me. My name's Dane. I moved to Australia last year on a working holiday visa, so I know firsthand how expensive it can be. There are many reasons to move to Australia, including the laid back beach lifestyle, good quality of life and higher wages. However, it doesn't come without the big price tag. I myself struggled for months when I first got here to wrap my head around paying eye-watering prices for things like groceries and flights. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I spend in a week living on the east coast of Australia. If you find this video useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below. Let's just jump straight into how much I spend in a week. So for context, I'm from the UK, so I can only compare prices to what it's usually like living in the UK. I did notice when I first moved here that things cost a lot more money. Now that may have changed because I haven't lived in the UK for a few years. However, prices here just seem crazy sometimes. When I first moved to Australia, I moved to Sydney. I lived there for about six months. I loved the experience. I didn't love paying Sydney prices. If you've been to Australia and you've been to Sydney, you know what I'm talking about. I currently live in a city called Wollongong, which is the third largest city in New South Wales in Australia. Personally, I feel like the cost of living is a lot less down on the coast. My current lifestyle is I am a freelancer. I am also a part-time digital nomad, so I tend to travel a lot. If this is the first video you've seen of mine, I have heaps of travel videos. What I tend to do is go home for six weeks and then travel for six weeks. That's just the pattern that I've been in for the last year. So my lifestyle is... I would say my lifestyle is a, not your normal kind of lifestyle. Now, if you've ever stepped foot in Australia, you know one of the biggest, biggest expenses is food. I am not exaggerating when I say that sometimes food is double, if not triple the price it is back in the UK. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I spend. This was a very average week for me, I think. I think I generally spend this amount of money. I've never recorded how much money I spend living at home. The only thing I will say is I recently bought a car. Now I'd planned to do this video, but like this was the week that I was gonna do this video. And it, unfortunately it happened to be the same week that I bought a car the week prior. So there was an added expense, but I'll share with you at the end, like what it is without those car expenses and what it is with those car expenses, just for further context. Now let's get into what I spent this week living on the East Coast of Australia. So I live in Wollongong, which is on the East Coast. It's about an hour south of Sydney. And I live in a two bedroom apartment with my partner. We pay $590 per week, which for our area is actually a lot higher. Like if you look in Wollongong, most people rent a two bedroom apartment for between $400 to $550. Now I will say if this apartment was in Sydney, it would probably be, I wanna say like 900, even $1,000 per week. Sydney rental prices are insane, which is one of the reasons that I moved. So the rent in total is $590 per week. So my share of that is $295. My insurance is then $17.25, which brings me on to the partner of today's video, Safety Wing. Healthcare isn't free in Australia. So in the event that I become injured or sick whilst I'm traveling or living here, I need to make sure I'm covered. You know my story by now. After leaving the UK in July 2021, I needed to find an insurance that suits my lifestyle of country hopping and digital nomading. That's where Safety Wing comes in. Safety Wing is my go-to travel medical insurance that can provide you with global coverage outside your home country. Say you get sick or injured or maybe an airline loses your luggage. Safety Wing has got you back. For as little as $1.60 US per day, you can have peace of mind that you are covered in the event that anything happens. I'm not the only one who loves it. Safety Wing has hundreds of amazing reviews over on Trustpilot, so you don't just need to take my word for it. I will leave a link down below in the description box so you can find out more about Safety Wing. A big thank you to Safety Wing for partnering with me on this video. Now, let's get back to my spending. We then have water, which is usually around $150 every quarter. So my share of that works out to be $5.76 per week. Then we have electric, which for the previous month was $98.91, which if you put that on a weekly basis, that is $11.40 per week. My gym membership is really affordable. I actually only pay 
$16.95. I go to one of the most basic gyms. I only go there because it's over the road from my house, so it encourages me to go to the gym, but I also enjoy that it's very cheap. My phone plan, I am with Boost Mobile. I highly rate them, and I pay $6.25 per week. All my subscriptions such as YouTube, Netflix, etc., that comes to about $9.69 per week. And then we have a new bill of mine that I, as I said at the beginning of the video, I recently bought a car, so I've, this is a very new bill, but I've, my car insurance per week is $19.15. That covers all my regular outgoings such as bills and rent. That comes to a total of $381.45, which I think is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Are you happy with that? So as I said, this was a very, very normal week in my life. Generally, I work from home and then I might go do something in the week. So I might head to the mountains or the city or I might have a friend come stay with me. I did have a friend come stay with me for this week. So on Monday, this was like the worst cost to have on a Monday morning. So I recently bought a car and when you purchase a car, you have to pay like a rego transfer fee. And then I did have to pay some outstanding rego because I did. Um, and then you have to pay like 3% of the total sale of the car. Anyway, all these costs added up to $443. I then had to pay $3.50 for car parking, which is actually really reasonable. I was parked for like two hours. I think that's really, really cheap. This is where the costs start adding up when I start grocery shopping. So I go to Woolies usually and on Monday, I spent $48 on dinner and lunch for the next day and I got some oil. Tuesday, very nice. I only spent $6.50 on coffee. Coffee is one of those things that I know people are like, oh, you shouldn't spend so much money on coffee. For me, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't do anything else crazy. Coffee is my vice. I'm like, let me have coffee. So I don't, I'm happy to spend money on coffee every day. That's fine with me. Wednesday, I spent $6.50 again on coffee, and then I spent $54.50 on groceries. Now, I will say this is just my share of the groceries. So on Wednesday, I remember picking up all the things for my breakfast for a week. So that's like oat milk, um, granola, all the other stuff, and then it would have been dinner. Now, Thursday, I had a meeting with a client. I spent around $5 on the train. One thing I will say about trains in Australia, public transport, other than airplanes, public transport is so incredibly cheap. For like a two hour journey on a train, it's probably around $8. In England, it's probably around $200. I am not even joking. Like it's so crazy how people pay so much money for trains. Back in the UK and in Australia, trains and buses are very cheap. So I spent $5 on the train and then I spent $29 on dinner. My friend came round and we went to, we went out for some Thai food, $29. I was like, I'm happy with that. Usually when I go out to eat, I probably spend roughly around $25 to $30. Friday, Friday was kind of an expensive day. So I bought coffee twice. So I spent $5.50 on coffee in the morning and then we went out for lunch and I bought another coffee. So that was another $5.50. And then I spent $24 on lunch that day. And then I went and got some stuff from Woolies, my favorite shop, and I spent $30. I also had to put fuel in my car this day because I was getting low. And this is again, this is something that I need to get used to paying for because I don't really pay for fuel. And I spent $112 on petrol. Now, if you're in England, um, petrol here is around $2 a litre. So that's, I think that's about a pound. Although $112 sounds like a lot of money, my car is like a three litre four by four. And I'm pretty sure in England that would probably cost me about $200. Saturday, I spent $13.50 on Guzmi y Gomez, which is a Mexican fast food place in Australia. I'm not big on fast food, but I was going for a hike and I was like, oh, I just need something quick. So I went and got a burrito from there. $13.50, I feel like it's pretty good for lunch. And then I, I tried going to get my dinner from Aldi. My problem with Aldi is I go in there thinking, okay, yeah, it's a little bit less money, but I still need to go to Coles or Woolies. So in total, I spent $26 um, for my dinner that day, which again, really annoying. Like I could have just eaten out for that price. 
and I had to go to Coles after going to Aldi because they just didn't have what I needed in Aldi. Sunday was a very nice day. Sunday, I only spent $5.50, which was my morning coffee. That brings me to the end of the video and revealing how much I spent in one week living on the east coast of Australia. My total spend on bills this week was $381.45. If I include the total car costs, I spent $817 on like disposable income, such as food, going out to eat, and those car expenses. If I remove the car from that expenditure, which I will for the sake of this video, I only spent $374. If you were to see me in the street and ask me how much money I spend on groceries and going out on day-to-day -day spending, I'd probably give you a ballpark figure of $200. So I was actually really surprised when I realized I spent $374. That seems like a lot of money to me. This brings a grand total for my week. Living in Australia on the East Coast, I spent $1,198.45. That is a lot of money. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like I need to cut down on my spending for sure. If I remove the car from the expenditure, that comes down to $755.45. Not so bad, but I feel like I could definitely spend less money. Again, I think it's the food. The food and the fuel definitely didn't have a car before. So just the fact that I'm now paying $100 a week on fuel. I probably won't use that much fuel. As you can see from my spending, most of it goes on groceries and going out to eat. I don't know if anyone else, if you live in Australia, if you agree with this, sometimes I honestly think it's cheaper to eat out because groceries are so much money. If I was going to the shop to get myself some stuff for dinner, I would probably spend 20 to $30. And that's just not on food because when you go into Coles or Woolies, you don't just buy what you want for dinner. You buy other things. You buy the specials that you see. So sometimes it's actually cheaper to just eat out. There's definitely more things that I can do to cut down on my costs, but yeah, this is just me being totally transparent with you. This is how much I spent living on the East Coast of Australia for one week. Let me know down in the comments below, is this more or less than you expected? One of the reasons that I did this video is because you guys are always asking me, how much does it cost to live in Australia? So I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna do a really normal video of how much I spend each week. And this is what it came to. So yeah, let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on this? If you've ever wanted to move to Australia, I have a free preparing to move to Australia travel guide down below to give you some tips and advice on what you need to know before you move here. A big thank you as well to Safety Wing for partnering with me on this video. I'll leave a link down below so you can go and check out Safety Wing. That is it for today's video. So thank you for watching. Take care. Make sure you hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and leave some comments down below. Until next time, take care and peace out.